Welcome to Marketing Edge on TV, Nigeria's leading initiative in the business of brand management and in the management of brand business. It is a 30 minutes awesome package that comprises brand news, brand in focus and industry conversation, all in a mix encompassing thorough and in-depth analysis aimed at promoting the brand idea. I am Olua Bukola Omani. Stay tuned. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand idea. We begin Marketing Edge on TV with brand news, where we bring you the latest developments around brands and in the field of marketing and advertising in Nigeria and around the world. This week, we feature the 20th anniversary and a world celebration of Marketing Edge. Now on brand news. Coca-Cola has broken another feat as it debuts Coca-Cola Y3000, a beverage born out of the collaborative fusion of human creativity and artificial intelligence aimed at shaping its marketing strategy towards younger consumers. The legacy brand disclosed that the newly unveiled beverage stands for the taste of the future and to make this experience even more immersive, it is pairing Y3000 with an AI-powered adventure offering a tantalizing glimpse into what the year 3000 might hold. The international research body called researchandmarkets.com has released the global report on the oral care market, which says by 2027, its growth will reach 58.56 billion at a compound annual growth rate of 7.1%. According to the report, the global oral care market has experienced substantial growth with a compound annual growth rate of 7.7%, leading to an impressive rise from $41.33 billion in 2022 to $44.51 billion in 2023. 20! It was a milestone celebration and a gathering of who is who in the integrated marketing communications landscape as Marketing Edge earned its 11th edition of Brands and Advertising Excellence Awards, which coincided with its 20th anniversary to recognize excellence, hard work, and creativity among professionals. John Ajayi, the CEO and Chief Publisher of Marketing Edge, while welcoming guests, recalled the inspiration behind the birth of the leading publication, while the 20th Anniversary Awards Chairman, Prince Dozier Mbanefo, Managing Director and CEO of New Crystal Communications Limited, in his keynote address, acknowledged that the notable brand has established an undeniable credible track record across board. 20 years down the line, we can confidently say that marketing edge has come fairly a long way. Our sojourn in the industry these past 20 years has not that made us an authoritative and dependable ally to players in the Nigerian marketing and advertising ecosystem. As a witness to the history, to the history and histories of marketing edge, especially through the efforts of Mr. John Ajayi, publisher and CEO of this magazine, I can confirm very authoritatively today that these two decades has been well and you have won. Some of the award categories for this year include media, agencies, campaigns, brands, companies, legacies, milestones, personality and lifetime achievement awards for deserving individuals and brands. Some of the elated awardees expressed their joy while some of the guests commend Marketing Edge for keeping the industry abreast with uh, relevant so and trendy news for 20 years. Tonight, and we are really, really glad we are thrilled by this award. Thank you, Marketing Edge. Really, it's overwhelming, sincerely, and we really, really appreciate the Marketing Edge team for this. And I want to appreciate the organizing committee for an excellent work done, and congratulations to all the awardees. Marketing Edge at 20. I mean, we know what it is to run a magazine brand and evolve it to be also a digital, have digital platforms in this day and age, and also be able to give accurate information to the industry 
It's commendable. Just raise the bar. You know, towards another 20 years, if the Lord tarries, you know, raise the bar. Plan for succession. You know, at the very highest level, and I do know that my very good friend, John, is already thinking about that. Anything Marketing Edge is doing, anything marketing that is going to promote Marketing Edge and make them not only the best, but the leading in Nigeria, in Africa, I am here to give them all the support that they need. As this year's event comes to an end, with so many accomplishments, Marketing Edge promises more robust years of brand journalism okay, the years to come. Next is Brand and Focus, right after this break. Take it from me, the mind-blowing way to do things is the Glow LTE advanced way. When you stream, it's like you're in the drama itself. When you make calls, you reach where others can. Cookie! Doing business is like running Wall Street from your street. And when you play, I can beat you guys. We'll see about that. It's like traveling the world without moving an inch. Is that Toby in your room? You can download in the blink of an eye in 4K. Go! And when you go for your dreams, it's like running with the strength of three nations behind you. Glow LTE Advance, the power of three data networks in one. Get a Glow SIM or dial star 301 hash. Where is Glory? Excuse me, ma'am. Glow! Oh, where Glow now? I dare hear you. <laughs> glow, Glow, don't go village. Tie all our customer abuse. Everybody pay attention. See eh? Now Glow barricaded 10x. Now he might they take 10 shun my customers. Now he they dash me 10 times the credits when I load. Or yeah. even some me double data join. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Wait, so, so with one five way they give all of us so you they enjoy up to 15,000 naira credit and data. And I say I never finish you. See, when I say we enjoy if we join Glow barricaded 10x. When I go get 1,000 Naira welcome credit. Finish! Glow, you don't win. Oh, now see there here. <laughs> Hello. Please, I'm looking for Glow. Please save now Glow with the fine. Now Glow with the go. Okay, so Enjoy 10 times the value of your recharge on Glow Barricade 10X. You also get 1,000 Naira for calls and data and double data bonus on your subscription. Marketing Edge on TV. Promoting the bright idea. Now on Branding Focus. Over the last two years and still counting have been a watershed moment for the tech world as some major innovations such as Meta was lost. With every brand from Apple, Microsoft and Google jumping on the Metaverse bandwagon for a slice of the potentially lucrative pie that an immersive 3D internet will bring. Thereafter, OpenAI broke the generative AI mode with the launch of ChatGPT, a new breed of chatbot with an uncanny ability to generate near-perfect human-like text. The fundamental questions and widespread debate within the business and marketing circle is, what do all this mean for the future of business and marketing? More importantly, where should marketers and businesses be edging their bets? What are the potentials of Metaverse and AI on brands? When Metaverse appeared on the scene, every brand and business wanted in. With its non-fungible tokens, wearables and avatars, it had brands clamoring to offer their audiences an absolutely out-of-this-world experience. It promised immersive experience where there are avatars and games, wearables and digital tokens, especially to Gen Zs and the millennials who grew up playing online games. Games with rich imagery and fantasy, which makes them the perfect passengers to take on a trip to the metaverse. However, AI is a different ball game altogether. It has been said that AI will completely transform and drive marketing. 
where there is a lot of data and a great need for personalization. AI can help shape better customer experiences and enable better predictability of outcomes. What's more, AI can do wonders with segmentation by splitting customers into various groups based on specific characteristics, gender, age, income level, interest, and a zillion other criteria. It can power the mapping of what will work with whom. In fact, AI can enable brands to connect with millions of prospects with a hundred different variations of marketing messages and help them track and measure their effectiveness almost instantly. AI powers creativity with regards to design and content. Next is Brand & Focus, right after this break. Take it from me, the mind-blowing way to do things is the Glow LTE advanced way. When you stream, it's like you're in the drama itself. <laughs> when you make calls, you reach where others can. Cookie! Doing business is like running Wall Street from your street. And when you play, I the beat you guy. We'll see about that. It's like traveling the world without moving an inch. Is that Toby in your room? You can download in the blink of an eye in 4K. Go, go. And when you go for your dreams, it's like running with the strength of three nations behind you. Glow LTE Advanced, the power of three data networks in one. Get a Glow SIM or dial star 301 hash. Mom, where's my yogurt? Thank you. Oh, really? my yogurt! Oh, no. Don't worry. Drink it, feel it, taste what? it. Great oh, quality, my yogurt. Building you up strong. No trio. Rich in protein. Where's my yogurt? But what happened in 1925? What happened right now? Wishing goodness on him. No trio. Excitement from the new Nutrio drinking yoga. Light up your day with tasty, refreshing, and nutritious drinking yogurt. Nutrio, my yogurt. A quality product of Seaway. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea. Many thanks for joining us on Industry Conversation. My guest today is an icon of the industry, one who was recently presented with the Advertising Legend Award. I'm talking about none other than Udeme Ufats. Good afternoon, sir, and congratulations on your recent achievement. Thank you, Bukola. Okay, so tell us, how does that make you feel, sir? Uh, I feel very elated. I feel very grateful uh, when um, an organization like Marketing Edge recognizes you uh, it's a credible recognition, you know, a yeah. uh, credible organization. And um, you can only feel that, yes, um, the almost 40 years you've put into practice has not been wasted. That uh, people on the outside can look into your organization, look at you in the context of the industry, see what you're doing, and appreciate you. I believe that you are worth celebrating. I really appreciate this, and um, for an organization like Marketing Edge, to so recognize me, I'm deeply Nobody grateful. I feel very fulfilled. All right, great. So le let's go into this right quickly. Let's assess the advertising landscape. So with the um, technological evolution, what would you say about the advertising landscape and how uh, you know, technology, technology has revolutionized the industry? Thank you, Bukula. Um, I think for agencies that are poised to take advantage of the developments, they are going to be well positioned for greater effectiveness. Um, when I talk about effective, effectiveness, I talk about pace. I talk about being more um, accurate in their predictions. I mean, there are apps you can use. 
to understand, better understand the consumer. There are studies available, and more so because of the uh, you know availability of uh, internet data is more accessible, uh, easy to store, easy to retrieve, and you know where to find it. So um, agencies are today better equipped than they were years ago. I still recall an ad by um, Apple Computers years ago uh, showing um, a Stone Age man. On, um, on um, using airbrushes and uh, magic markers. When you consider how far the industry has come since then, it's really amazing. Um, but certainly, uh, the, today's ad man has better tools to enhance effectiveness and efficiency. Okay, great. So, talking about the integrated marketing communications landscape as a whole, now, considering the economic headwinds that, you know, uh, different... Uh, society has faced. What, what, was your, what is your assessment? Well, I think as in all things in life, uh, business people must be creative. I, I tell my guys that creativity in our business goes beyond creating communication. Okay. It's about the way we run our businesses, uh, the way we relate to each other, relate to our clients, and how we engage the consumer, you know, beyond just creating or devising ads. I think that with the kind of change that we are facing, agencies must evolve and they need to evolve to take advantage of these changes. Instead of being victims of the changes, they can be beneficiaries of the changes. And I take an example where I begin to see that um, there's an emerging convergence in the industry where we've moved seemingly, we've turned full cycle back okay. to where Clients are expecting agencies okay. to deliver on holistic communication programs. Mm -hmm. So those speaking holding days of saying you are doing advertising, you are doing uh, direct marketing, you are doing digital. No, no, no. The agencies are in fact today, if you call yourself a traditional agency, if you do not have digital capability, you may be going, you know, dead very soon. So agencies are now being required to evolve with clients' requirements, client expectations, and offer even more than before a full 360 degrees offering that will take uh, the, the brand to every touch point that is possible in engaging with the consumer. Okay, so given all those changes, what opportunities do you think professionals at, in this landscape need to unless? I think it's about, yet again, uh, using their business acumen to create um, what I'll call synergies in the organizations. More than ever before, uh, the need for integrated marketing communication services is even more critical mm -hmm. because if you are in control of the different disciplines and elements of the communications, you are better poised to deliver to your, for your clients more effectively and of course more efficiently. You have better pace, you have better accuracy, mm -hmm. and you have better control of what you do. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Okay, so as a legend in this industry, tell us what has changed in terms of personnel, operations, you know, even the creative business, what has changed? Uh, in terms of, I'll start with the personnel. When some of us came into the industry, um, it was not in an industry that was well known. Uh, a few of us made advertising our choice uh, of career, and uh, we, some of us, our parents thought we made a mistake. Our friends thought, well, "What's he going to do there?" Um, so we, very few of us, made were intentional about our choice of career in advertising. Many of those I came in to meet actually stumbled upon advertising. They worked on, in broadcasting, they worked in uh, print media houses, and they discovered, maybe from moonlighting in copywriting, moonlighting in media, media buying, they got into advertising. They were not that intentional. So, but now you do find that the majority of people coming into advertising have actually been trained for the profession. They are actually more exposed, and they understand advertising better. And so when you're intentional about what you're doing, okay. You definitely will do it better. In terms of processes, um, agencies are better equipped technically. Okay. I mean, if, if we look at the issue of something as basic as being finished at work, you know, you would have to do cut and paste it, you know, some 20, 25 years ago. Okay. Today, the average art director, finished artist, does not know what that is about. I wouldn't even mention art directors who have no clue about what airbrushes are about. Huh. So you can see, and all those things mean better work, faster delivery, 
and of course more accuracy i look at even in building your strategy you need to get data you need to get information you need to get files you need to get books today a punch of the button right at your fingertips all the information you need to get just know where to search it rolls out before you in fact all you need to do is type a question into google and everything comes out so you can act this an industry that is better equipped in terms of personnel you know they are clearly more exposed better trained people people who are actually equipped right from their school for the industry unlike in the past where people actually came out of school and had to begin to train themselves in the industry so you have better trained personnel but i will also say you have better structures better processes in the agencies to create better efficiency and in, and, and in the area of creative businesses in creative businesses um you see it's like the computer, garbage in, garbage out. Mm. When you have people who are better exposed, people who are better equipped, people who have been around and, uh, and, and they are feeding into their systems things that will trigger and inspire their creativity, you mm. can therefore imagine the kind of impact they are going to make in the industry. So I think, back to what I said earlier on, that these are better equipped people, better exposed, and it's actually impacting the quality of creative work. Thank you very much. So the last time you spoke with us, you mentioned that some agencies, the focus rather on uh, receiving accolades and awards rather than giving uh, value for clients. What did you mean by this and has this changed? Um, well, let me, just, let me just explain. I am, uh, we've always believed in ISO and you that creative awards are very important, are very useful because they are the standard. You know, it's, the, it's like the currency of creativity in the industry. Okay. But it is also a danger. I've, also, I've actually seen in the recent past where agencies are actually creating specific communication mm. to go into award ceremonies. And, I, and honestly, I think this is immoral. It's immoral. Mm. You know, in the past, what you would do is that you, your client gives you a brief and you give your very best to that brief so that the work goes out there, it supports the brand, it builds it, but at the same time, it wins awards for okay. your clients, you know. So, and that's why we have this thing in SYU. It's about creativity that works. My view is that if the work you do is not impacting significantly in taking your brand from A to B, it's, it is not transforming the existence of that brand, then it just becomes creativity for its own sake. And I think it's becomes, yet again, I would say, pure indulgence. Mm. We are there for a purpose. We are not fine artists. We are not just creative writers. We are marketing communicators. And the objective of what we do is to sell our clients' brands and use our creativity to impact those brands, transform them to the very best that they can be. Great. So let us talk about consumers who are, you know, the recipient of all of our artwork. Now, what do you think is the power of storytelling with connecting with the new age consumer? Um, the new age consumer, like every other consumer, needs to be understood. Uh, the, the starting point for any uh, communication you need to build is to understand the consumer deeply. And so um, it, it starts from look, any other project from some level of in-depth you know, immersion in, uh, in the environment of that uh, consumer. Um, so you can understand how the consumer thinks, you know, um, how he, he eats. And I mean, we have a saying that um, if you want to know, understand how the lion hunts, you don't go to the zoo, you go to the jungle. <laughs> so you must seek to understand your consumer you know, beyond just the surface. And so even with the younger consumers, they are a bit more complicated. Uh, they're a little, a little less engaging when it comes to our old ways of engaging. They are more digital. And so w when you find a situation where these are not people you can actually locate because they are being located more, you know, you know, <laughs> but, you know on, the, on the virtual space, yes. it can be but it can also be easier for those who are very, very conversant or friendly with, with stuff that are virtual. So you, but you, you must get to understand them. You must speak their language. And one thing that is most powerful for them okay. that helps us is the pop culture. Hmm. Music okay. drives everything. And so if you can understand the things that trigger them, things that make them respond, 
then you can speak their language. I mean, one of, I mean, I'm talking about speaking their language. These guys do have their own idioms that sometimes when we, uh, the other generation, speak, <laughs> it's, it makes them laugh. But um, the most important thing is that you need to get to understand them. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea.